Class 2 I wanted to be prime minister. Class 5 I wanted to be an officer. I didn't know what that meant. But I liked the course content a lot. Although it was named back end engineering, but what word like caught my mind was scalable systems because that's something interested me and that's something I want to work on. And how did you like the mix of theory part and as well as the practical imp- uh, implementation? I could get a reply like within a half an hour like people are very active and uh, very into solving other people's doubts and like the sense of community is there. Hey Anvishan, thanks for uh, joining us today. Uh, so nice to meet you in person. Same. Today we are going to talk about um, your experience uh, so far your journey so far as an engineer as well as your experience with your program and what's next for you sure looking forward to it all right let's start with a quick journey about you like what what has been your journey so far uh, as an engineer throughout the college i like tried different things mm-hmm. robotics sometimes like python scraping scripting and bash scripting i don't uh, and through the internships i did different sort of like low level development small applications okay and yeah just like that i graduated in 2022 and then i joined my current company and yeah i've been uh, with them since then got it tell us more about the company and what you guys do and what's your role there okay so my company is called dimag ai and okay. they are mainly focused on creating products uh, with respect to like ai and robotics okay. like that is the field they deal with and with regarding my role i have like I have been like more like a Swiss army knife. I have done all kind of things there. Mm-hmm. Like I started with doing some robotics. Then at one point I was just doing bash scripting. Then okay. after that I was uh developing desktop applications using PyQt. Mm-hmm. And recently I have been uh changing my role and now I'm going to work on back end Node.js sort of stuff. Okay. So yeah, it's been all kinds of things that are possible there. So yeah, that's got it. Okay. It must be interesting to work in this company right now right when every other company is now yeah either developing something on the ai side or yeah. they are moving on the ai side altogether so it must be interesting to work in a company yeah like uh, i have gotten exposure to a different kind of thing like even when i was creating like desktop applications integrating ai pipelines to mm-hmm. it also like gave me exposure to what kind of like how it's working and all like okay. i have done done that uh, a little bit in my college time so uh, yeah it's interesting and it's good got it and you told me that your college experience has been a li- uh, little more interesting or a uh, little unconventional yeah. uh, tell tell me more about that yeah so i graduated from cluster innovation center it's a part of du okay and so this college has like 40 seats for one year it's a small college 40 people in one batch and it's okay. btech in it so, so there is an intake of only 40 yes. students every year yes. okay that that must be very competitive then. yeah it was competitive and the main goal of this college is to you know uh, prepare entrepreneurs and like they also focus a lot on project based learning like a lot of our credits and marks were based on projects so okay. like for each subject we had to do projects uh, but also it was not very we were not refined to the subject content mm-hmm. like we could take our own leeway with the projects for example if i am learning ai i could push that into the project if i am learning full stack i can somehow involve that okay. so it was like it was a very good growing experience obviously like covid was a big impediment mm-hmm. but yeah i had a very good experience in my college and that was it okay. got it that that actually sounds very very refreshing compared to yeah. uh like you know i speak to other people or like you know people who are going through yeah. different colleges and stuff like yeah. almost everybody is creeping about their college experience yeah, that yeah. Hey, it's an outdated curriculum yeah. or yeah. we are working on stuff where the yeah. industry is not even going to ask those questions and stuff yeah. but uh, we are very very um happy to hear that some of these uh, institutes are actually taking a step yeah uh, actually government area. is also like propagating it more like they have created this national education policy mm-hmm. through that they are going to promote this structure to more colleges okay so yeah it's hopefully we can see more of it in future in got other it. places got it that's good to know so anvishan was becoming an engineer always a dream for you no not really like in class 2 i wanted to be prime minister okay in class 5 i wanted to be an officer i didn't know what that meant mm-hmm. i just knew people went to offices and came back in the evening so that's what i wanted to be in class 5 but yeah like as i got to know more and uh, class 8 9 i think i started to realize i love maths and i think engineering is a field i can utilize my love for maths the most okay. and logic and all that stuff so 
yeah i think and through growing through that and 11th 12th i got to know some things about computer science i did not have computer science mm-hmm. in 11th 12th but i read about open source like it it was very attractive to me okay. like you know concept of gsoc like mm-hmm. uh, all all those programs it is very interesting that you can contribute and get into places got like it. it's not a very you know uh, entrance like a uh, it is a very proce- like procedural hmm. the process to get into open source which very which was very attractive to me like things like that where previous merit doesn't matter it mat- matters more what you are doing right okay. now yeah. so that was like i like i got to know that kind of opportunities exist in computer science i was very attracted cool and coming to air drive uh, and our back end engineering launchpad how how did you get to know about air drive and this particular program so i think i saw uh, like while scrolling instagram i saw a story and mm-hmm. it like uh, i think it detailed about the program contents and i liked the contents i just uh, gave it gave it a read like i did not have any plan okay. to join such a course but i like liked the course content a lot like it was like although it was named back end engineering but what word like caught my mind was the scalable scalable systems because mm-hmm. that's something interested me and that's something i w- want to work on in future okay so uh, like that i went through the course contents and it was like really good how the program was structured like moving on from like starting with node js moving on to databases then to system design i think and like when going into the details of the program i really really loved it so that's why i wanted to join okay and yeah and and did you know this was our first iteration of this course yeah yeah i got to know like i as i researched more about air tribe at different places i uh, got to know it is the first iteration but i was really attracted to the course content and because i also th- uh, thought that most of what the course content is i do not know before a lot okay. very well and it seemed like a very complete software engineering experience although the program is named back end mm-hmm. but it is also a very good software experience the whole content of it correct okay. yeah and so that's why i really liked and proceeded to go over ahead with it understood okay got it and um, tell us more about your experience with the program so far this is I, i'm assuming that this is pre course stuff uh how was your experience with back end engineering launchpad yeah, it was very good actually it was uh, like uh, especially with the instructors like uh, like start we started with i think pavan and uh, it was like node js all the asynchronous concepts he explained it so well and i think there is also a thing when instructors have that passion it also transmits to the students and i think i felt it really intensely just with the starting of the course i felt it very good so i think uh, it i also had that one week if you don't like it and mm-hmm. but i think i just liked it so much in the first session only okay so yeah like with pavan that was an amazing experience like all and the way we went deep into the topics node js and the event loop class yeah and, uh, even i learned a lot in that session yeah yeah that was amazing like so yeah i think uh, like with each session i could feel that i'm getting to know more about software engineering and backend engineering in general so yeah i think uh, starting with node js then databases that was taken by sanjita and that was also just a very very good student teacher experience all the interactions were so good she also went into the depth of databases a lot mm-hmm. all the things you do to optimize it all those things were like taught so well yeah so yeah I, and then we with the system design also baljit did an amazing uh, sessions throughout low level high level design all that stuff was so i think the whole course content like i thought it was very good got it learn okay and how did you like the mix of uh, like you know theory part and as well as the practical Im- uh, implementation uh, like you know so that's more focus is there on you doing something you learning those uh, things while you work on some of those projects how do you, how do you like that Uh, yeah like uh, like the projects or the assignments they were pretty comprehensive and they covered like whatever was taught in the class and like even uh, even though i found myself going back to the lectures while doing the assignment i think that was also very good because it reinforced what i was what i had learned during the class one more important uh, piece in the whole back end engineering launchpad is the mentors which we onboard uh, where we try to make sure that they help our learners out in each and every step and wherever they are struggling or if they need any additional help or anything like that um how was your experience with our mentors yeah my experience was really really good like uh, my experience with akash akash daga was your yeah, mentor yes okay. exactly so we our whatsapp group also was decently active actually mm-hmm. so we used to have separate sessions 
you know like uh, once or twice like once in two weeks sometimes like that and we used to like uh, throw all our doubts and uh, to him like we used he used to organize sessions and we four or five people used to be there okay. and we used to throw all our doubts on him and he used to clarify them so much and he used to take all the time and we actually sometimes we extended like to two hours or 2.5 hours something like that okay. more than the sessions actually because also he was very responsive like mm-hmm. whenever i had a doubt i think he just instantly replied even though like he was he was in office or like he was always occupied with other things but yeah i think uh, there was a lot to learn from him and his at one point he also explained his own journey which was very inspirational for me okay so yeah that's why i think i had a really good session with my mentors yeah he's also one of the best mentor and fun fact akash was uh, one of the learner when we started at tribe uh, even it was uh, we were not even calling it at tribe by the way okay. it was just called navneet and dhawal's new startup okay. and we started with a system design course i was mm-hmm. the teacher and navneet was playing a role of a community manager okay. as well as uh, helping me out with uh, everything else other than the teaching part mm-hmm. and akash was one of our first like you know one of the learners in our first cohort itself okay. and then when we started um, with this backend engineering program uh, like he's uh, an st3 at uh, grow yeah. if i'm not wrong yeah, he's and poor now actually yeah okay. he told me yeah so we i i just reached out to him that hey uh, like because he was very active in the cohort uh, in our first cohort uh, itself and that was a very very small cohort of 20 people and okay. i thought like uh, it would be great to have you on board because again we are looking at slightly junior uh, engineers for this particular cohort and uh, it will be great to have you on board to mentor them and uh, he signed up for it right away uh it's it's uh, great to hear that the experience with akash uh, was amazing also community is one of the very critical uh, aspect of atri programs um tell me more about your community experience was it up to the mark uh, was it something which you signed up for or uh, like how, how did it yeah go? like i did sign up for it like even the program uh brochure i saw it also mentioned community pretty extensively and i really liked that aspect about it and Uh, honestly through the courses like uh, it felt really good like the slack is a whole big community and interacting with mentors and students both through that and even the like i think the community was very good because the other peers i had were also pretty smart yeah. uh, through the course and i think i learned a lot from their doubts i think i learned more from their doubts than my doubts alone sure. so that was also a pretty good thing so yeah i think the community pretty nice very responsive also like i think a, a couple of times i have mentioned something or talked about something on slack i could get a reply like within a half an hour like people are very active and you know uh, very into solving other people's doubts and like the sense of community is there so i really like that aspect got it and also the uh, other part around learning from others as well right like uh, let's say you having access to uh, the code or how other engineers are solving uh some problem statements uh, yeah 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 like uh, there was a few of those assignments especially in the early stages like uh, i used to see how other people are doing like uh, i think the platform also highlights the best or the a good submission top submissions yeah. yeah so that was also like a thing to take inspiration from like how they are structuring their code hmm. or sometimes akash used to like point it out, point out among all of us like uh, who is who has a good submission we can take a look at that so i think it was like there was a plenty of places to get inspiration from when it comes to community so great. that was uh, that was a good experience for me to learn from others great to know that awesome what's next for you on mission now in future i would really like to work on systems which have a lot of users scalable systems where you know the problems are where the things breaking because of its scale majorly mm. and all the software principles and learnings i can apply to those places the pressure of working under that kind of environment i imagine must be more difficult and yeah. i kind of work on, want to work on that so that's what i'm looking forward to and after going through a uh, backend engineering launchpad do you feel slightly more confident on working uh, such highly scalable systems and building such designs yeah for sure like uh, if i am going into this uh, sort of field for work mm-hmm. i expect myself to not be many surprises mm-hmm. like if i get to know something like if i come across something i expect that i have learned before because the the whole curriculum was very you know um, exhaustive 
mm-hmm. with respect to content covered and i d- don't think any aspect the instructors have missed even if it was not in the course content i think the instructors went out of their way Got took it. more time in the class to uh, tell about a lot of things so yeah i think i can deal with anything that comes my way when i go into the scalable systems problems awesome that's good to hear but thanks a lot uh, for your time and vision uh, thanks a lot for sharing insights your experience so far and we'll speak soon sure thank you